hello. Um, I wanted to make a video because this morning um, I got this. Uh, it's hard to. It's a long story. So I'll start with um. When I was when I was younger, a lot younger, um, I used to have a Commodore sixty four. It's like um, a computer system, like the played a lot of games um, from mainly from the eighties and yeah, mainly in the eighties. It was it was quite big. Um, and I had a Commodore 64, I played heaps of games on it, and, um, one of my favourite games to play was, um, this RPG game that, uh, was called The Magic Candle. Um, it's, like, not very famous nowadays, and, um, not like Ultima or something like that, which everybody, which most people know and things like that, but, um, uh, I remember, you know, when it came out, The Magic Candle came out, um, in my PC magazine, I think I remember I got 90% and they said it was a really good game so I actually remember buying this game I went to, um, I took the train went to, um, oh, I forgot what the store was called but there was a store in um, Abbotsford or Richmond that had Commodore 64 game I think it was called Maxwell's and I went there and I bought it I think it was like $80 or something like that um, and I remember coming home playing it and um, it left a really big impression on me like um, yeah I played it in those days and I still it's one of those games I still remember all this time like it was so um, good it was it was had so much depth like um, like you had, you had like um, you didn't create characters you didn't roll characters like in other um, RPG games where you can just roll and the stats just keep rolling they had like a set number of characters like I think there was like 10 or something to, or 15 or something to start with and they each had their own little storyline like and you know, in the manual, like, it was like, here, let's just have an example, um, one of them was the wizard named Zix, and he was like, um, he was the advisor, giving you advice, um, on which person to choose, and then at the end, he, he put himself up to be chosen, and he, you know, made his, you know, speech to you, and say, hey, he's, he's been, you know, ever since he was a little kid, he wanted to be on an adventure, and, you know, um, he never got around to it, or something, he, you know, was doing all this magic stuff, blah blah blah, and you know, he'd really love to be on this adventure, so he'd really like to be chosen, and this might be his, I don't know, his last chance or something, but yeah, it's um, awesome, like each each of the characters you could choose, they had their own story, their own personality, you know, the brief little thing about it, it's just awesome, um, and you, you go and you pick like your five people, so you've got a party of six, and you walk around, and um, talk to people and the th yeah it's cool because you talk to everybody and and it's like um, they might give you a key word like let's say you ask about rumours and their job and stuff and um, yeah uh, it's, it's hard to describe but there's so many little details about it like you know your party moves around like this block of six people around town and if you want you can divide the party into two groups so like you can have a group of three going here group three going there and like you can totally split up your party which is awesome like you can have one guy training in town and the rest of the party goes around hunting outside and stuff um I just left such an impression on me like um I remember um like when you travel by ship uh, on a ship to another place like you're on the ship and you choose what each of the characters is going to do on the ship like one guy might like sharpen his weapons one guy might learn his spells and another guy you know it's all these little details like that it just makes it so good um i really really loved it and i never finished it um uh, when i was a kid like i don't know what happened like i think i played it for a little while and you know um there's like a time limit i think of like 500 days or something of game days that you have to finish it and stuff but i never finished it and um it was always in the back of my mind and um just recently I've been uh, like on this uh, like what happened I think what happened was um one of my friends um she's just started this blog with a few other with two other guys um called retroviews.blogspot.com and they review they go and back and play all these um old games like you know retro games that they grew up you know in the era that they grew up like the 90s and stuff like that and yeah, and reading that, when I was reading that blog, um, it got me really back interested in playing um, these old games again, because it just got me, um, reminded me, because I really liked those games, like, from that era. Um, I don't, like, it's funny, like, 
I think I pref some for some reason I kind of really like these games where the, the graphics aren't that spectacular like they are today. Like um, I feel it leads more to the imagination in a way. Like for some reason, just walking around this town with these crappy little um, block figures and it just for me my mind prefers that in a way like the imagination fills in the gaps. Um, I don't know, I really I really like it. I really like the music from the games, like in Commodore 64 games and all those games. They've got this, you know, the music's like, you know, that kind of, um, it's, they just sound so good, to, you know. Um, yeah, I really like it. So the, the cool thing this morning, like, I just had this urge suddenly to, like, play Magic Candle again. And, um, so now these days it's really good. They've got emulators and you can, and most of the games you can just download for free and um, uh, it's really cool. Um, yeah. So this morning, like last night, I was trying to get it working, but I I couldn't get it just right to get it working properly. So I this morning I got up and got it working and I was like, whoa, yay! <laughs> you know, it worked and, and I'm playing this game again on a modern computer. And, it's really cool, and um, I was just playing around with it, walking around, like I chose my party, like who I wanted in the party, and then I walked around the the castle and just talked to a few people, and the thing is, like, it's it's so um, many buttons, I mean, not that many, but it's fiddly, a little bit fiddly to talk to everyone, but I, I kind of like it, it just reminded me of how games used to be, and um, like, it's like a slow, either a slower pace, or just, um, yeah, I, I really like it, um, that style for some reason, it's, it's nice, like, I, I'm enjoying it, and I even got out, like, an old exercise book, and, right, because, um, games in those days, like, um, you had to, like, if you wanted a map, you had to draw your map yourself, and if you wanted, um, note-taking, you had to write your own notes about things, and so I just got a pen and paper and just writing out stuff, and it just kind of felt good to do it again, um, yeah, so... Like, and this time I'm playing it, like, I'm not, um, in, like, this mode where, oh, gotta, gotta, um, finish it, because there's a time limit of 500 days or whatever, so you gotta kill, I mean, not kill, um, there's a candle in the game that is, um, used to be protected by something, 44 and 40 or something like that, and then they've vanished, and now the candle's melting, and you gotta stop it melting before the candle melts, or otherwise the demon's coming back, come back, through the portal or something, something like that. But I'm, I'm, because it's a game like um, I'm just digging up from the past and just um, playing around again. I'm in, I'm not you know any, like I don't feel like um, I have to finish it or anything like that. Like um, I'm just enjoying it and gonna look around the towns and you know just talk to characters and train them up and have fun and stuff and um, you know play it like that in a way. I that's my goal. Like just to enjoy like. Like with with golf or everything really is basically just enjoy the process like um, not stress out stress out about this time limit and stuff like that um, and just play it and you know it will be cool if I actually do finish it it will be nice it'll be nice I remember um, there was a similar game like that it happened to me um, a few years ago Chrono Trigger which is a really famous RPG on Super Nintendo um, I never played it but I did get an emulated version of it. Um, and it took me um, many, many years to finish it, in because I just kept um, playing it and then kind of stopping for a, for a long time and then picking up again. And I think w by the time I finished it, it was like three or four years after I'd started it, and um, it was such a good feeling to finish it. Yeah, like I think I, I actually yeah I got a walkthrough just to help me along for that one, but just finishing it felt really good. So um, I just realized um, just recent, well yeah. When you do when you do when you do something and it takes you a long time to finish it, but you've just like kind of kept with it, and then finally you finish it. If it, it's a very nice feeling, it's just awesome. So um, it would be cool if I could just potter around with a um, magic candle, just playing it for fun and just you know exploring everywhere and stuff like that. And um, it would be nice if I one day finished it. Uh, that would be cool. Like it, I think it'll feel good. It'll feel like completion, like something I had half done in. In, when I was a kid and now finishing it, it would be awesome, I think. Uh, it would be good. Um, yeah, Magic Candle, it's not very well known, but it, it, anytime I Googled it, 
um, it always came up with someone talked about it that remembered it from their past like I did and they always love it they always said it's the best RPG they ever played or one of the best or really really good game this is part one I'm talking about because they've got three of them but they um the part one is the one that I think um, everyone really loves the most and it's the one I had um, so I think that's all I want to talk about but yeah so that's what I did this morning and yeah, yeah. it's like yeah it feels good yeah.